It's been a controversial issue for decades, but new research out today suggests more women with severe symptoms of menopause should be given the option of hormone replacement therapy. Some women can develop symptoms as early as 10 years prior to actually going through menopause, which means in their early 40s, um, and these symptoms can last for years and years. According to the report published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal, there is a major gap in treatment for women in their 40s and 50s who are dealing with symptoms of menopause. The paper's lead author, Dr. Ileana Lega, says for many, these symptoms can be debilitating. The most difficult symptoms to tolerate are the hot flashes. That can happen sometimes 10, 20 times a day. It uh, can be embarrassing, certainly, if you're in a work type of setting, and, and, and exhausting. They wake women up at night. Night, they have poor sleep as a result, and, and it really just sort of snowballs into then difficulty with relationships, irritability, and sort of the whole thing. Dr. Lega is hoping the review will spread awareness and highlight the benefits of hormone replacement therapy, also known as HRT, for certain age groups, a treatment that has been controversial since the 1990s when a major study found an association with higher rates of breast cancer and stroke. I think one of the main reasons why there is such a gap in care for women with menopause is because of that study, unfortunately. And that study had all the best intentions. However, it recruited a lot of older women. So women we don't currently recommend treatment for. So women as old as their late 70s. Dr. Lega says HRT should be presented as a treatment option to women under the age of 60. Subsequent studies since specifically in that age group actually show that overall the benefits for most women greatly outweigh the, any of the risks. We know that the risk of breast cancer in a woman who takes hormone therapy for five years is about three additional cases per 1,000 women. So overall, that risk is considered to be quite low. The Canadian Cancer Society only recommends HRT for women with severe symptoms of menopause that have not responded to other treatments and says if you and your doctor decide that taking HRT is right for you, the lowest effective dose should be used for the shortest period of time possible. Dr. Lega says those are aligned with their recommendations and as with any treatment, this is something that would have to be discussed with a doctor. The most important thing is that women need to be empowered Powered with this information to make a choice that works best for them. For a closer look at this medical review, head to our website, citynews.ca. Shauna Hunt, City News.